to your father and just spit in your damn face and set your behind down. Maybe you'd be a nice little feminine woman out here. But instead, you got the mouth of a damn black woman. Right up. Black woman of America. Right. Who the white man has given much privilege to to run a damn mouth until Christ comes. That's right. sending up prayers to God or standing in the midst of the prophecy of the words of God. Come on. Having his head covered. And you have your head covered. Dishonor his head. You dishonor Christ with your head covered. Are you willing to uncover your head in the midst of this Bible? Uncover? Yeah. You don't think none of these men out here cold? All these men, all of us got cold Got, got, got our heads uh, uncovered. You know why? Because the Bible says so. 
That's right. The Bible tells us that if we cover our head in the midst of prophecy, guess what? We just honor Christ. What am I doing? I'm trying to see where, where your spirit bear witness at. I got a question. Were your people ever in slavery? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Because you was adopted. Right? You was adopted into a white family or a black family? White family? White family? Okay. I mean, that, that could mean something. It could mean nothing. There's a lot of Israelites that are adopted into white families. Right. I can't let you out and say that you're not an Israelite. I can't let you out and say that you're not a child of God. I can't do that. But if your spirit bears witness with this Bible, then guess what? You are of God. That's right. Read. The book of Job, chapter 8 and verse 8. Read it. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. The Bible tells us to inquire about our former age. Inquire about our elders, our grandfathers, our great-grandfathers. Right. We have to inquire, do a diligent search upon who we are and where we come from. Read. And prepare thyself to the search of their father. It says prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for the search of your fathers. You may have to do a lot of digging. Right. You got to be prepared. You got to be prepared. How do you prepare? First, you start, you're going to have to start, don't go to uh, what that thing called? Uh, uh, Ancestry.com. Yeah, no, you don't go to Ancestry.com to prepare yourself for the search of your fathers. You got to find some relatives. You got relatives that you know of? Do you have any relatives? You should get with your relatives and find out who in the hell are you. Because that's, what that's what's going to determine who you are and your plight in the future. Because this Bible is written to, for, and by the children of Israel. That's right. Why? Because black people, don't, they don't care. You may not consider yourself black, but... That's fine. These brothers right here, we know who they are. You see that? They don't care nothing about the word of God. That's right. They would rather have their little weed, get their little drink, Bring it out. and chill on the corner all day. Right. That's what our brothers do. Yet, they are the most glorious people on the earth. That's right. Hey, brothers, right here on the side of the fence, smoking and see we're having a good old time. Y'all brothers right there. What's going on with you? Y'all all right? Y'all doing real good? Yes, sir. I bet you is. Don't drink no more. I'm blessed. Don't drink no more. You still smoke? I'll smoke my cigarette. Smoke no cigarette? I'm going to quit that soon, too. Let me, you, you going to quit that soon, too? Let me ask you a question, brother. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in God? I said, do you believe in God? You do? Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 15. Or 16, which one? God is your overseer. Let me show you something about God. God told me to read this to you right now. Read. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. Read it. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. You say you've been baptized at a young age. You love God. You know God. God says, don't you know that you are his temple? Read. And that the spirit of God dwell in you. Don't you know that the spirit of God is supposed to dwell in you, brother? He dwelling in you? All right, let me show you something. I'm going to show you he ain't in you. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. Did you just defile the temple of God? Because you God's temple, right? Did you just defile the temple of God? You did. You just smoked your cigarette. You say, you're going to quit that soon, but you smoked it just now. And you threw it out, right? You stole, right? But you're going to smoke another one later on, right? Later on. He says that you are the temple of God, right? But read this. Him. Shall God destroy? God gonna destroy you. God gonna destroy you. God gonna destroy you because you don't believe in God. You supposed to be God's temple, and you you, you sucking down every cigarette you can find. God don't dwell in you. I know you don't give a damn. It's our job to make sure you tell God that you don't give a damn. Right. And that when that day comes, when your day comes to be put to death. God is justified. That's God, right. God is going to be justified when he puts your black behind the death. That's we know right. you don't care. We know you don't care. Read up. But it's our job to make sure he hear the words of God. Right. When God comes to destroy you, he will have the last laugh. Right. Give me for give me all Proverbs. Give me Proverbs chapter one. Read up. Proverbs chapter one. Right. Curse God and die. That's what you should do. Curse God, go ahead. 
Give God, get that on camera. Give God your behind the kiss. Give it to him one more time. Tell God to kiss. Did you talk about the what? God can kiss your ass, huh? God said you to kiss my ass. Guess what? You ain't talking to me. You ain't. You're not talking to me. I'm reading the words of God. You're talking to the most high God. That's right. In Proverbs chapter 1, I think it's verse 20. The book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs. Chapter 1 and verse 20. Bring it up. Wisdom cries without. She uttered her voice in the street. You see that? Wisdom crying without. She uttered her voice in the street. That's wisdom calling to you. No. See, what you're looking at, you're looking at this vessel and you think you're talking to a regular man. What you're going to realize is you're looking at the sons of God. That's Lord right. Lord. That is who you're looking at. What? Right. You're looking at the sons of God. That's who you're looking at. What? Right. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttered her voice in the street. She cried in the chief place of concourse. We got it because this is the chief place of concourse. You see the work that is cut out for the black man? I don't know if it's a man or a damn woman. What is you? Which one are you? We know. In the openness of the gates, in the city, she uttered her words. You see that? She said, I'm a he, she. Ain't no damn such thing as a he, she. You are, you are a woman. That's what you are. You are a woman, and you need to learn how to be a damn woman. We saying, how long, you simple ones? God said, how long, you simple ones? You simple as hell. You are simple. You are a simple black woman. That's what you are. Very simple-minded. She thinks she got a. She thinks she got a penis. She talking about she all hell. He she. You are confused. Read it again. How long, you simple one? How long you gonna be simple, simple-minded? How long are you going to be simple? Read on. Will you love simplicity? God said, how long are you going to love simplicity? You a damn fool. Read. And the scorners delight in their scorning. God say, scorners like you, you delight in scorning. You like you delight in scorning. Scorning is what you do. That's why you on the bottom. That's why you broke. That's why you ain't catching the bus and ain't got a damn thing. Because you rebelled against God and God is going to continue to judge you. That's right. And fools hate knowledge. What did God say? And fools hate knowledge. Joshua 6, what did God say? And fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge. You're a damn fool. That's what you are. That's right. Fools hate knowledge. Only a fool don't want to change the condition of their people. Only a fool don't want to change the condition of their life. Right. Knowing that they're on the bottom. Knowing that they're wrong, knowing that they have violated God's laws, That's you're right. a fool if you don't change that. Read right. on. Turn you and my reproof. God says, turn and my reproof. You think because you're up here reading the Bible, you're talking to some simple men. Read you are simple as hell. Right. Read it again. Turn you at my reproof. God say, turn at his reproof. Read on. Behold, I will pour out my spirit into you. I will make my words known unto you. Because I have called and you refused. God said he's called and you refused. God said you he's called and you refused. And you know what's even bad? You got two brothers right there. They laughing with them. They think that's good. The black man in this country is so damn weak, it's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The black man in this country is a weak, docile boy. These are not men. These are boys. You have yet to become to know what a man is. You are boys. And you're just a little girl. You're just a little girl. You are damn fool. That's what you are. Read it again. Because I have called and you refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. God said he stretched out his hand and no man regarded. Right. You know why? Because we come out here every Saturday. And they see us doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over. And they're like, hey, hey what are they doing? Real. They ain't going to bring no change. Y'all ain't doing nothing. You constantly saying the same thing over and over. Well, guess what? This is our job. Right. It is our job to make sure that God is justified when he puts your black ass to death. That's right. Read on. But you have said and no all my counsel. It was none of my reproof. God said, you don't want his reproof. We. I also will laugh at your calamity. God said, he's going to laugh at you. Don't worry. No day coming. He, hey, we, hey, we, hey, give me that. What that? A spectacle. Give me that in Corinthians. What is that? 
We want you to laugh at us. Little do you know, that is where we get our joy. We get our joy when it's people like you that laugh at us. We get our joy when we see brothers that turn their back on the Most High God. That is where we get our joy from. You know why? The apostles had to go through that. All of the prophets had to go through that. Guess what? It is our turn to go through that too. Don't worry. God going to shut your big black mouth soon enough. Please. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 4 and verse 9. This is where we get our joy. Continue to laugh. We are spectacles and fools for God. We, For I think that God has set forth us, the apostles, last. God set us up last. Y'all had the Black Panthers. They ain't did a damn thing for you. You had the Brown Berets. They ain't did a damn thing for you. You got the Christian church on every corner. They ain't did a damn thing for you. She thinks she's a she thinks she's a man. She really thinks she's a man until a man puts her in her damn mouth. Then she's like, oh, I'm a woman. I'm a woman. She's a real man. And she jump on want to be a man. When a man put her on her ass, she turned into a woman real quick. I'm a woman. Oh, I'm a woman. Read it again. Or I think that God has set forth us, the apostles, last. God set us up last. He ain't set us up first. He set up Islam. He set up Black Panthers. He set up the Brown Berets. He set up the Christian Church. He set up the men of God last. We, as it were, appointed to death. This is appointed to death. Right. What you don't realize is we are done. We are doing this until the death of us. Right. Why? Right. Because we know what exists on the other side. Right. We know what exists on the other side. Right. You on the other hand, you and your two little flunkies right there, we know. Well, we are made a spectacle. We are made a what? We are made a spectacle. We are made a spectacle, come on. Unto the world. Unto the world. See y'all the world. We made a spectacle unto y'all. Why? Because we know what we die for. We know what we live for. We know what we're doing. Unlike you, you think you're a damn man. Got a, 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 got a, a, a resemblance of a penis between our legs. Ain't got a resemblance of a penis between our legs. Yes, y'all here barking like men. If your, spirit, if your father had just spit in your damn face and sat your behind down, maybe you'd be a nice little feminine woman out here. But instead, you got the mouth of a damn black woman. The black woman of America. Who the white man has given much privilege to to run her damn mouth until Christ comes. Yes, sir. When Christ comes, you're going to shut your big black mouth. Yes, sir. Well, we are made a spectacle unto the world. We made a spectacle unto the world. Come on. And to angels and to men. We made a spectacle unto angels. The angels would have come down here right now and put your black behind the death. Right. That is what's going on. Why? Because black people refuse change. Right. Black people refuse change. They don't want to hear nothing about no Bible. They don't want to hear nothing about changing their lives. They love the condition of their people. Right. That's why she can stand up here and bark at men that are reading out of the Bible. She can sit there and uh, she can sit there and roll her little behind at men that are reading out of the Bible. Nasty, foul, defiled human being that must be put to death. Why? Because you refuse change. Give me your uh, Romans. Give me Romans chapter one and verse twenty-five. Bring it out. Give me Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. We're going to continue to burn you with the Bible. Yeah, you know, black people don't want to hear the Bible. That's why black people are on the bottom right now. That's why y'all out here catching the damn bus. Because you refuse God's laws. Romans 1 25. Read on. The book of Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who changed God's truth into a lie? The so called white man changed it into a lie. That thing on you got you, you got rights being passed for people like this to marry their own their own their own gender, for women to marry women, for men to marry men. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Your oppressor did this, and all of you that agree with that are going to be put to death. Right. Read on and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause. God gave them up until vile affections. God gave you up until that vile affection. God gave you up to that vile affection that you have. Right. Read. For even their women. Even what? For even their women. Even what? Even their women. Even that he, she. Read it again. For even their women uh. did change the natural use into that which is against nature. God said you changed the natural use of what he gave you to that which is against nature. 
to that which is against nature. You got a wall socket at home. You can't take a wall socket and plug it into a wall socket, can you? That's common sense. Can you take one of the wall sockets off of this wall and plug it into the wall socket that's on the other wall? No. Why? Because it's made different. You need a plug to go into the wall socket. There's something that plugs into that socket. Just like when she was born, God made her with something in something that's supposed to plug into it. She can beat it up against another woman all she wants. It don't make her no man. It don't make you no man. You are what God made you. You can pretend to be all you want to be. But God will have the last say so. Read on. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust one toward another. This is what's going on in America. The sister said, let's talk about what's going on in America. What's going on in America is loudmouth black women that want to be men and men that want to sleep with men and women that want to sleep with women. Covenant breakers, covenant breakers, law breakers. That's what's going on in America. A bunch of Israelites stuck at the bus station catching a bus because they're in poverty, because they refuse to keep God's laws. Right. Because they refuse to keep God's laws. Come on, read it again. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burning their lusts one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. God says it's going to be meat when I judge you. It's going to be justified when I put you to death. Right. That's what's going to happen. You ain't got one. You probably got a penis down there for real. She, she don't, he, he don't know what he got. He, she, he, he don't know what is going on with him. Confused as hell. Most of God ain't the author of confusion. You better understand that. Give it out of the wrong. God ain't the author of confusion. He made you what he made you to be. You can be that or you can die in your sin. Read what you got. You, hey, you may not want to hear it. But hey, you ain't talking to me. You tell them the most I got that. Right. You don't want to hear you don't want to hear God. That's what you don't want to hear. Right. You don't want to hear God. But your judgment is coming. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And fight!